Hi, I'm Nick Campling. I'm the design engineer at G7, the Capo company. I've been a design engineer my whole career. Um, I even ran my own consultancy a little while back, and it was during that time that um, I conceived the idea that we should develop a product of our own. I looked at my various clients and thought, actually, they were probably better off than I was, and so our own product would be a good idea. But then, of course, nothing happened. Nothing happened at all because it's all very well to make a decision like that but until you decide what to do, nothing happens. But I was playing my guitar one day and looked down at my left hand and um, there was a capo. Uh, if I remember rightly, it was Rick Shubbs. It was certainly the best at the time, in my opinion. And um, But it hadn't, hadn't, hadn't been designed, redesigned for 25 years or so. Um, and I thought, well, I'm sure we could do something about that. Um, so we set off and we designed a capo. We set ourselves a proper set of objectives. We did put, wrote a design brief. We did the job properly. We thought about the appearance um, and every aspect of the capo and came up with the performance capo. Um, this ugly object was the first prototype. Um, it's got a wrap spring clutch attached to it um, and it very simply proved that we could do it. The very first real prototype was this one which actually looks very much like the performance capo turned out. Um, it's got the proper clutch in it um, and proved that we could make it really work really well. I took this um, I took this prototype to a meeting talking about export. Um, so there's a group of people sat around a table um, and we I, I can't even remember quite how this finished up on the table but it got passed around and this lady picked it up and she played with it. She just opened it, closed it, moved it around in her hands all for about a minute and then she said this is really nice. What is it? And I like that. I like that very much. That's what I want to do. Create things that delight people. 